What appealed about the script and the thriller genre in general? Brilliant director, brilliant writer, brilliant characters, brilliant actors kind of playing those. I was kind of in awe of the people who they cast. Um, it was, it's hard to find a negative to it really. Like from an actor's perspective, you know, when you look at scripts, like, there's nothing about this project that, that isn't am amazing and kind of lures you in, you know, and the team behind it, it's, it was a no-brainer, really. Just reading the script, just it was a really original bit of writing, and the fact that when you're going from one emotional beat to the next, it was kind of everything was so unexpected, and um, yeah, that's what that's what really drew me in. And do you think a thriller has something that you can do as an actor that you can't in other genres? I don't know what you think about this, Please. but like if, any, if any scene is isn't working for me as an actor, I need to bang the stakes up. Like, I always have a word to myself going, just because the stakes aren't high enough in mm. your head, you need to create the stake, you need to up the stakes and then it will work, or up the triggers or something. Obviously, in a thriller, the stakes are already impossibly high, so they're great to act in because you're on a knife edge the whole time. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's something about that, and also the fact that when the stakes are that high, it gives you a bit of room. Um, with some, you know, characterization, so you can, it makes you a bit braver in how you sort of deliver something. I'm going back to that thing that yeah. we were talking about and that yeah. when I was behind the desk and having yeah. that sort of little chat and you're, I mean, I, the, the way, just, yeah. there was like um, a way to deliver that that you'd feel a little bit like um, braced, but I think the strength of the script and the idea of being in a thriller means that you can sort of, like you say, raise the stakes for yourself and yeah. heighten it a little bit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Was it fun to do an anti-Christmas Christmas project? Wow. Yeah, it's I mean, amazing. it's it's yeah. amazing setting against the yeah. backdrop of Christmas. Mm. So it was a, a you know credit to the writer for for placing it in that setting. But it's it's a very high octane thriller with this. We keep saying this thread of unexpected humour running through it. That yeah. when you're reading it first time, like a deal just said, you're like that was. W that was a surprise. Was not expecting that. Yeah, yes. um, yeah. yeah. And it is good having the contrast at Christmas because it sort of lulls you and makes you feel a little bit nostalgic. <laughs> and then, right? And it's funny because somebody's head's getting blown off yeah. in the next yeah. instance, which yeah. is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Was yeah. it quite challenging as actors to go from moments of very high tension, very high stakes, to moments of humour, or did you find that came quite naturally? It, uh, it was a challenge, actually. Uh, it's certainly in. I don't know, day one or day two, because you want to get the tone of the show right and make sure, you, you know, above and beyond anything else, you are making a, quite a high-octane thriller. So you, you, the one thing you can't do is kind of slip into kind of being silly with it or something like mm. that. So it, you want to kind of... It's how you gauge the delivery of those humorous lines. But I remember, with yeah, there was a few chats with the director in, in the first few days about how to achieve that. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Did you ever feel you'd gone too far with the humour or not far enough? I mean, enough? you always go very far with it, don't you? I have to. <laughs> I have to. So they just got to draw me back in. I'm Constantly not, in, not even in the room sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out exactly. of the room and they're like, where are you going? Yeah, just, yeah. just going really far with the humour. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there, there, there is that. But I, I think also, like, I mean, I'm not in there as, as much, but it f feels like when you're in a special job like this and you're trying to discover the tone it's a there's a little bit of an unknown to it but then it beds itself down in a way maybe a quarter of a way through or something that's where you're doing oh yeah. that's it and it's this unspoken yeah. feeling that you have you go okay we're doing that now yeah, yeah but you yeah, can't sure. really put a put a word or articulate until you sort of that's see it. it when you see it back again you're going oh that's really unique it's its own thing you know yes yeah. i see yeah. Yeah. And Adil, yeah. you've appeared in cult classics like Four Lions and Utopia. Oh. Do you know when something's going to have cult appeal like that, or is it a surprise every time? I think that I think I'm glad, yeah, because that's my answer to that. I think when you start something off, especially if you're in the world of Chris Morris or if you're in the world of Dennis Kelly, you're sort of like working it out and just testing things out and not not 100% sure whether something's going to land or not, but you do it anyway. And then at a certain point, it does ground it. It does bed itself down, which is kind of the beauty of um, doing shows like this. You know, when you're doing really original work, you sort of it comes this weird act of faith, going, "No, we're going to find what it is," and you always do because it's just so good. It's all, you know the script is always going to get you there. Yeah. yeah.
Yes, I yeah. see. Yeah. And as actors, do you think you can do much creatively on TV that you can't do on film? Like, are there any sort of unique opportunities? I think we're in a ripe era, aren't we, at the minute? Of like, long form TV is in, it feels like. And on that journey, you can discover a lot of the minutiae of the character. And it's a, it's a kind of. We're, f I think, quite fortunate to be in that world that it's, you know, that you're just given more time, aren't you? To put yeah. it simply, mm -hmm. to, to, to discover, I guess. So. Yeah, it's nice over the course of six episodes or whatever to learn more about your character. Mm. And Adil, was it emotionally damaging to have to shave for the role? Because that right, was... usually everybody just wants me to have a beard. Mm. I can never get rid of the beard. And for this, they were like, I don't want you to have a beard. And I was like, okay, I, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> You that. don't sound very happy about it. No, no, it. I didn't know yeah, I was fine yeah, yeah. about it. It was actually really yeah. nice. It was really nice to sort of yeah. not have a beard for once. Mm. Yeah. We, let me uh, tell you, we were just to interject, we were all, you know, the day that a deal came in and started, we were all secretly very excited. I've known a deal oh. for a little bit, but I'm very excited. And he knocked it out. Mm. Oh my he's, a, he's a force. You <laughs> could have said that on the day, but it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I said, oh, well, I just need to time to rearrange my thoughts sure, and sure. know exactly clearly what I'm thinking. And and doing it I just arrived at that this Better morning. I was like, no, he, no, he was a force, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've yeah. got lots of nice things to say about Andrew. Oh my well. God, didn't, no, I, didn't no. I? Before? Yeah, no, you do. Well, I said yeah, to him, yeah, just so you yeah. know, it's not disingenuous. That yeah. the way that the, the, there's moments in this where him and Kira are acting opposite each other, and they're sort of, um, this real, it just felt so real, and the expression of tenderness that they thought, it was just so, and talking about moments that catch you emotionally, that was a moment that really caught me emotionally. Just it, the belief of this character, and his, he wanted to keep his family and his wife safe, it was just, it was beautiful, beautiful performance.